I wanted to record this segment a little late into Friday today because while it is Friday night here in the Western world, on the other side of the globe in Singapore, it is Singapore Comic Con in the morning doing their setup. And more importantly, during Singapore Comic Con, during their setup, we also have within that convention the Cybertron Fest with the Hasbro booth with two very big reveals that we've been waiting for. So let's jump into it like we always do here on the Transformer Slag podcast. And we're going to break it all down and make sense of stuff. And the first thing we're going to cover right here is our brand new Titan class. And it looks like it is Tidal Wave, as we expected. It is going to be our brand new Titan class for our Transformers Legacy United line in 2024. And he's looking really, really good. Uh, they really went straight up with a 100% Transformers Armada Tidal Wave animation model. They went with the color scheme and the purple as opposed to the more greens that they did with the Western release. So it's very animation accurate. I love the sculpting. I love the detail. I love the fact that it's a full-size titan class there was worry about some compromise in relation to we'll get into some combiner elements in a moment i love that he's able to break apart and make the three separate vehicle units um dare i say maybe some of the gimmicks with those vehicle units were preserved from the original toy let's hope so looks really good the combining into the larger robot looks fantastic also and if you look very carefully if you look very carefully you could see in one of the images that was put online you could see a small miniature version of one of tidal waves vehicle components made much more scaled down and shaped in his combiner element and the reason why i bring that up is because one of the biggest fears that we had is when we saw that original control art and poster art for legacy united we saw that armada megatron is going to be able to combine with Tidal Wave, our brand new Armada Megatron from Legacy Evolution. Now, if it's able to combine with him, the fear was, well, we know how the original Tidal Wave toy is. It's much smaller. There would have to be compromises. Was this going to be a titan, tiny Titan class? No, that's not the case. You're still getting your full Titan class. It's still going to be able to break apart and do everything the original did. And they're going to include, I guess, as accessories, uh, miniature versions of all of his vehicle pieces to be able to combine with your Armada Megatron from Legacy Evolution, the leader class. So that's fantastic. We only see one here. I'm going to assume that the other two are going to exist in some shape or form to also attach to Megatron. But this is really, really cool that that's being included. I guess that's just, you know, that way you don't sacrifice one and the other. The thing is, is that Tidal Wave has always been one of those characters that, you know, it's generate. It's not Generation 1, but scale is an issue even with more modern Transformer series is where sometimes Tidal Wave could be almost the same height as Jetfire, a larger Autobot character, or sometimes Tidal Wave is the size of entire buildings and everything like that in a more Titan scale like he was in the video games. So they're giving us this. That way, hey, you could have both. You could have your cake and eat it too. And then the question is afterwards, hey, at one point, do they want to do the more traditional toy accurate colors? Maybe make that a buzzworthy Bumblebee like store exclusive or a Generation Selects. It leads open to that too if they want to do that color scheme or even the Energon clear green colors. So you get three repaints or well, three paint schemes out of this one mold and then some very fantastic looks really good. I dig it. We got a nice shot at the top of his head too. We don't have many images yet. We'll probably get definitely a lot more tomorrow during the Transformer Slag podcast live stream. So be sure to tune in for that tomorrow, eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time, Pacific, and uh, five o'clock Pacific PM. But we'll uh, we'll keep you posted on that tomorrow. But looking really good, looking really good. I like it. The sculpt, the detail, the head sculpt, the pivoting turrets. It looks all great. But that's not the only thing we have this weekend thus far. We also got some new images of something that we talked about many months ago. The Transformers Buzzworthy Bumblebee Generations Legacy United Voyager Class Origin Wheeljack. So what is this exactly? Well, it's a, it's a wheeljack that's based off of his Transformers Generation 1 More to Meets the Eye Episode 1 Part 1 appearance his Cybertronian design. We knew this was coming. We saw the listings. We knew that this is now going to be a Voyager class instead of more of his traditional 
I guess, deluxe classes that most wheel jacks have been up to this point historically with Transformers. Uh, he looks really good. They managed to pull it off, much like they did with the Bumblebee and the Jazz. Uh, what I like is that while it also includes his blaster, a nice extra addition, which I didn't expect, but it's great that they did it, is attached on some nice 5 millimeter peg extra bonus. He comes with his little, I guess, propeller accessories that he used to get through the fire in that very first episode, and they could be obviously attached to his body on all kinds of 5 millimeter pegs. Looking really good. Dig that one also. So on the on the website and different parts of the photos that we've seen, it says here it's a Cybertron Fest two-day exclusive. Don't freak out. Don't worry about it. It's a two-day exclusive debut at this show. This will be a buzzworthy Bumblebee Target exclusive later on. We've already gotten the listings, the product codes, and everything, even a release date uh, that we had. I think it was uh, April 12th, I think, 2024. So... You will be able to get this. Don't freak out. Don't buy from scalpers online that are saying it's exclusive just to the Singapore convention. It's going to be out there everywhere. So check that out too. Very excited about all of this. A lot of great stuff to cover. Again, tomorrow is the live stream for the Transformers Flag podcast. Be sure to tune in for that and we'll have updated images, brand new photos, and we're just going to be hyped and talking about it. Hope to talk to you again real soon tomorrow, and thank you for listening to the Transformer Slag Podcast.